Good morning. This is Mark Sebastian of OptionPit.com, and I am the founder and uh, principal. All right, which is my new title, principal. I don't know why. I just think it's kind of cool. Maybe because I always looked up to my principals. So, um, reminder: tr using options to trade for direction, just forty-seven bucks, and that is that special for forty-seven dollars ends. Uh, tomorrow. So uh, when uh, the day after Halloween is the day that you need to um, you need to be trading options, uh, get yourself signed up. So uh, let's move on from there. Um, market big up day. Um, you know, big news out of Japan. Uh, they're going to be doing some stimulus. Uh, big news out of Europe. They were up big. Asia up big. U.S. up big. Uh, kind of some follow through uh, from yesterday. I mean, we've just seen a massive pop uh, on the open. Uh, you know, one of the things that we have been consistently saying here at Option Pit over the last couple of weeks is that straddles are mispriced all right they're just not being priced effectively and efficiently all right and proof is in the pudding the next week's straddle I, when we wrote about this let me see where is that blog post i want you guys to, i mean we've seen this on two separate occasions all right where all right the the straddle on the 23rd was underpriced. All right, this was the 1950 straddle. You can about the 1950 straddle that expires t today for $34. It's worth 52. Excuse me, 62. Double. All right. And then if you said, "Well, all right, well I only saw it once." You could have bought the uh what was it the uh the 85 straddle for another 30 bucks expiring next week and let's see how's the spx 85 straddle that's the 1985 straddle dropping the handle here folks how's that look $39. Huge, huge winner in straddle terms. All right. If you hedged off your vol, your Vega risk with like a VXX or a, a UVXY, you're in even better shape. They've been laying that up. All right. So uh, keep an eye out for these short-term straddles. If they want to crush them, let them. All right. Uh VIX, Nove, and DS Futures are finally starting to kind of come in as well along with the cash. All right, that's finally starting to settle down. All right, VXST and the cash are basically in line. I mean, we've got front and near-term movement. All right, now look at LinkedIn. How about that? Up $25 on news. All right, Facebook's starting to catch a little bit of a bit. It's now back to 75 Amazon now... Three over 300 again. Remember earnings gone. Forget about it. Netflix almost back to 400. Even Twitter. Has stopped getting just manhandled. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. GoPro. They had earnings. Look at that. Nice little pop. Man, the one area where there's tons of weakness. Look at gold just getting slaughtered. Slaughtered. They just, the dollar's rallying. Bonds, not moving. But gold, just absolutely wrecked. All right. So that is that as a safe haven asset has failed. 
bonds, they're okay. They're okay. Um, you know, for the day, you know, the market looks like it's pulled back off a little bit from the highs. Um, I mean, that was really close to all-time highs. Don't be surprised, though, if we if we continue to, to get a little creep. All right? That's my guess. I think, uh, I don't know how many more of these big, huge pops we have. Vol should be coming in. Um, you know, one of the things we may blog about today is where the VIX is relative to the last time we were at 2010. Um, I think that will be an interesting discussion point. All right, folks, on that note, I hope everybody has a great day, and I will talk to you soon. If you have questions, you can email me, mark at optionpit.com, and uh, call me, 888-TRADE-01.